my name is Laura Rojas and I'm here with MuseArts to bring you a series of virtual workshops that you can do from wherever you're sitting right now. For today's workshop, we are going to talk a little bit about biodiversity, about the environment, about protecting it, and then we're going to draw our very own bird straight from our imagination. So to begin, I want you to do this exercise with me. Close your eyes and try to think about all the different types of plants and animals and living things that you know of. How many of them do you think exist? Take a guess, give me a number. There's actually about 1.3 million living things that we know about right now. So that includes plants and animals and little tiny microorganisms that you need a microscope to see and fungi, all sorts of living things that surround us every day. And those are only the ones that we've met before. But there's so many that we haven't. There's so many, so many that we don't know about yet. So how many new creatures do you think we learn about every year? Take another guess, give me a number. So we actually learn about 18,000 new species every single year. And there's probably more. Those are only the ones that have been recorded, but there's definitely more people and more communities that know about different creatures that are maybe not common knowledge yet. So the amount of things living things that we don't know about yet is so much more than the ones that we do. So for today's activity, we're going to talk a little bit about magical creatures and we're going to make our very own. What is a different type of bird that you think exists out there that nobody has seen before, but that you know, you know in your mind is real. So to get a little bit of inspiration, I'm going to show you some beautiful birds that live right here on our planet that you might not have heard about, or maybe you have, that are gonna help you get a little inspired. Think about and really look closely at all the different qualities that these beautiful, beautiful birds have. So first up, we're gonna look at the Mandarin duck. And Mandarin ducks are native to East Asia, places like Russia, China, and Japan. And they're really beautiful. They look almost like a cartoon duck. This one here is called the African Pygmy Kingfisher. And do you know where the African King Pygmy Kingfisher comes from? Take a guess. You said Africa, you're correct. They actually live closer to the south of the Sahara. So this one here is called a Quetzal. And the Quetzal might look familiar. If you're from Guatemala or you come from Latin America, you might recognize it as the bird that's on the Guatemalan flag. The Quetzal is so beautiful and it's found all over Central America and it has these amazing, amazing long tail feathers. It's very nice. So this one here is called the Victoria Crown Pigeon. And the Victoria Crown Pigeon is found in New Guinea and the surrounding islands. And I love it because it looks like it has a crown or maybe a funky haircut. There's something really fun happening out there. And last but not least, this is a Scarlet Macaw. The Scarlet Macaw is one of my favorite birds. I think it's so beautiful. And the Scarlet Macaw is found all over Central and South America. So that's just a sprinkling of some birds that I find really, really amazing, but there are so many more. There's an infinite amount, and there's some that live in our heads that maybe someday we'll see in real life. When we talk about all these amazing creatures that we know about and that we don't, one thing that we need to think about is conservation. It means taking care or keeping in harmony. So as humans, we have a responsibility to make sure that the lives that we live aren't damaging the planet that we live on, of course, because we share it and we all call it home together. Every living creature calls it home, right? So what are some things that we can do to make sure that the land and the water are kept clean, kept safe, so that these are environments where all living creatures are able to thrive? Well, there's definitely things that we can do as a society, things that we have to do and changes we have to make, but a lot of them led by our own individual actions and led by the things that we think are important, that we can make sure that these changes happen and we can always protect the land, always protect the water and work with the people who are already and have been doing that for a very, very long time. So while we're working on this activity today, I want you to keep that in your mind. Think about ways that you can help the planet. Think about ways that you can keep it a beautiful, safe place in harmony with all the living things that call it home. And after the activity, we're going to take a pledge and we're going to promise to always take care of the land and of the water and do everything, everything in our power to make sure that these environments 
can continue existing for all the living creatures that call it home right now, tomorrow, in the future, and that it's always safe and healthy for everybody to live on and enjoy it together. Okay, so let's get started. Let's draw together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna think back on all the different birds that we know exist and all the ones that live in our imagination. And we're gonna start to think about what our bird looks like. So what does the body of the bird look like? Is it gonna be small and tiny and pocket-sized? Maybe kind of like the um, African pygmy kingfisher that we saw earlier? Or is it gonna be long, with really long feathers like the quetzal? Once you have that figured out, and there's no rush, if at any point you feel like I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video and catch up and hit play when you're ready to keep going. The next thing I'm going to think about is the beak. You have to consider what does your bird eat? Does it eat fish and scoop them out of the water like a pelican? Or does it drink the nectar of flowers and so it has a long straw-like beak to go right into the center of them? And don't worry about coloring anything in. For now, we're just gonna work on the outline. What about the eyes? What expression does your bird have? The next thing I'm gonna do is think about the feet. So what habitat does your bird live in? Does it live in the marshes, in the ponds? Does it live near the ocean or in the jungle? because that will determine what kind of feet it needs to walk. Now on to the wings. What kind of wings does your bird have? Are they gonna be long and really spread out like an eagle or a condor? Or is it gonna have tiny wings? Is it gonna have really small wings like a penguin and not able to fly? Color. That's so important. So we're gonna pull out our colored markers or pencil crayons or whatever you have available and let's add some texture. Okay, so there's my bird and now we're gonna do some cutting. So we're gonna go and grab our scissors and when you've caught up to this part, we're just gonna cut the silhouette of the bird. So the silhouette is only the outline. You don't need to cut exactly to the shape of your bird unless you want to. We're just gonna give it a little bit of freedom and get it out of the page. And there you have it. Now that our bird is free from the page, we're gonna decorate. So grab your glue sticks or your tape or whatever materials you have. Let's put some on the bird and if you have some things like feathers, or stickers, now's your chance to bring them out and get creative, give it some color, bring it to life. Before we go, we're gonna say hello to our new little friend and we're gonna think about what we talked about earlier in the video. Do you remember when we talked about conservation? So it's so important that we make sure we're protecting our environment, protecting the planet that we live in, that we call home, and that we share with all these little creatures known and unknown that we share with each other. I want you to take your bird, turn it over, grab a pencil, think about something you can do in your life to make sure that the planet stays clean and safe for all the creatures that inhabit it. So you don't have to write it, you can draw it, you can express it in any way that you want, but I want you to think about it and make a pledge. And it can start by saying, I promise, to take care of the land, the water, my whole life. And I wanna hear your promises. Thanks so much for joining me on this workshop. I hope you enjoyed making your new bird friend. And I hope you remember the pledge that you took both for yourself and for your new buddy. 
So we would love to see the work you made. Please send us a photo, share it with us on social media, or send us an email. Thank you so much for joining. Have a beautiful, creative day. Until next time.